Krishna and Balaram following the cow all around the world on Vardas Day. All the toys and play Krishna and Balaram all day. And sometimes they would jump like frogs and croak like frogs all over Vrindavan. And sometimes Krishna and Balaram would find some old blankets laying around and they would cover themselves with blankets and they would, they would act as like cows and bulls and they would be fighting, butting their heads and mooing. And when that game was over, they would find an old rope and decide to have a tug of war to see who was strongest. <laughs> Krishna, Balaram, playing in the forest of Vrindavan. And then, when that game was coming near an end, they would call all their friends to help them in the tug of war. Do we have any friends in the audience who want to come up and grab on one side, Krishna's side, or Balaram's side? Pull that rope out. Straight. Okay. We need some more friends. Come on. More friends. Chris, Balaram needs friends. He needs friends. He's Go back, go back, go back. Paul, we're going to see who's strong. <laughs> So uh, Srila Prabhupada uh, one time asked the devotees, who is stronger, Krishna or Balaram? Those who are in favor of Krishna, raise their hand. Those who are in favor of Balaram, raise their hand. Tonight, we will find out who is stronger. Krishna and Balaram. <laughs> Krishna and Balaram are the supreme personality of Godhead. But in order to attract us back to the spiritual sky, Goloka Vrindavan, they have appeared one of all the team. Seeing the favorable situation, Krishna and Balaram and their coward friends entered the forest and enjoyed the atmosphere to their full extent. Sometimes Krishna and Balaram would imitate the sound of the lion. The sound of the lion.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.